Hello and welcome to program 82 and in program 82 I'm going to draw a drawing or several drawing objects on one chart and those drawing objects will be synchronized on other charts. So let me just give you an example. In um, Trace Station 9.5 I'll show you how it works in Trace Station 10. In a moment I'm just going to select a drawing object, draw that on the chart and then you'll see that that drawing object is uh, reflected on the other charts as well. We can also move the drawing object and we can also by right clicking the, the drawing object and saying format we can change some of the attributes and they will be changed on the receiving charts. Uh, we can also draw several other drawing objects notably the vertical line. Let me just show you that. Again format that using the format option and Having done so, that's also available by left clicking and moving, we can reposition that. We can also uh, draw uh, an ellipse and we can, having drawn it, if we right click the edge line and click format, we can change some of the colors And those again are reflected on the other chart. We can do the same with uh, the rectangle. And we can also write some text or multiple um, items of text if we wish to. And all these can be selected and moved. And that movement is reflected on the other charts. Now, if we want to get rid of the drawing objects, we can write again right right click them and select remove 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 and remove and then we're back to where we were at the beginning i've got another chart showing looks rather a dog's breakfast but this is uh, this has the the drawing objects applied to it and we can move move them as before and they those movements those changes will be reflected on the other charts now because the way this thing works it actually uh, what it does is it deletes the drawing objects on the receiving charts and then redraws them so it won't work if you want to add your own drawing objects on the receiving chart because they'll get deleted as we uh, as we refresh that when we make a change to the sending chart let me just show you the input. So uh, on the sending chart, we have this program, program 82, which I've called sync drawing object experiments. And we have this value here, the only input. And this is a value that we just want to um, synchronize between the sending and receiving charts. And then on the receiving charts, program format analysis techniques, similar name, except we end it with read. Again, the input value we've got the uh, the same value that we have on the sending chart that uh, we wish to receive. And on the other workspace, the sending value, or rather the uh, this value here, send zero. Let me just uh, go to format so you can see that. It's called share ref, got that send uh, zero on the sending and receiving charts. So what I'm gonna do is show you the same thing on Trade Station 10, basically, the same principle, but uh, the way of uh, drawing things on a chart is slightly different. Okay, so here we are in version 10. Just gonna show you the studies. Um, the study applied to the sending chart and the study applied to the receiving chart. Let's just move so you can see the full, the full name and so we're going to add some drawing objects starting with the horizontal line and you can see as that is added to the sending chart it appears on the receiving chart and we're going to edit it 
apply a color attribute and also change the weight and that change is reflected on the receiving charts. Now we're also going to apply a vertical line and I did mention um, when I was looking at TradeStation 9.5 but it's the same for both 9.5 and version 10 that the, the date time is not necessarily going to be exactly the same one but what, what I mean is that some charts if you have a certain time uh, that time might not there, there may not be a bar for that precise time on the receiving chart and this particularly might be the case if you're using like we are here like Kagi or, or case type charts and uh, what we what uh, TradeStation does is just puts it uh, as close as possible to the actual date time that it uh, that it is on the sending chart so you can see here we've added a rectangle and we're just changing some of the attributes and really the only difference between the two are some of the dialogues are different then again if we want to remove these uh, these lines these drawing objects we need to go right click and then click remove drawing objects now technically this program uses the uh, the charting host object quite extensively and its events click event and select event it also uses the uh, global dictionary to share information and uh, vectors and so forth now because this is able to because I've got my computer set in multi-core mode and uh, I could potentially share across workspaces and so on the uh, the values of the drawing objects can't be directly sent in the global variable so what we have to do is go through each drawing object and gather the information uh, in terms of strings and um, uh, value doubles and then put that, those values into a vector or into vectors and put those vectors into the global dictionary and then at the uh, on the receiving chart we have to then take all that information out and put it back into drawing objects anyway hopefully you might find this useful if you do please click on the like for this video also if you haven't already subscribe to this YouTube channel and having done so if you if you um, click on the little bell next to the subscribe button then you'll get informed when I create new videos and uh, also because maybe not everything is released as a video you might want to go to markplex.com and subscribe to the markplex email list anyway uh, thank you very much